stay tuned to see if the CNC M Wii is really all that good. CNC did send this machine to me for free. All they asked is that I review it. Nothing more, nothing less. And I'm going to be nothing but honest, so here we go. The packaging is nice. As you can see, there is a missing slot, and that's because once I got this machine, I thought there was a little little film on there, a nice, satisfying, peely sticky, and it was not a nice, satisfying, steely picky. It was, in fact, the button. So I, right off the bat, destroyed a button on accident. That could just be a me thing, but the sticker does look like... It's got a nice peely sticky thing. It could be my fault, I could be slow, I could be quick, but I am nothing more than honest. Please tell me that you would think that there's a sticker on that. Be honest, tell me that doesn't look like there's a sticker on it. So right off the bat, one battery not used. In terms of the battery, there is a sheet that will explain the voltage and how it works. I do believe that once it is initially turned on, that it starts at seven volts, and then from there it does a hike of either two volts or five volts. I never really remember. The grip is a little hard to get into. Now I'm not the strongest man in the world, but I will say it does give me a fair bit of shit. I initially thought it wasn't lubricated or there was something wrong on my end. I thought that maybe I just didn't take it apart and clean it properly, but it just has continued to give me the tightest grip I've ever felt in my life. It does have little notches to let you know where you are at in needle depth, but I didn't really find that useful considering that it was so hard to turn the grip and that I'm suspecting that the machine that I got is a little faulty. It's also awkward because as you turn the grip, as you see this begins to turn, that is not needle depth, that is you removing the grip. So you have this part here for the battery, you have this part that removes the grip, and then you have to make sure that it's on perfectly tight and even when you're going in the direction that you would adjust the needle depth, you have to be careful so you don't loosen the actual grip itself, not just the needle adjustment. So I'm not a fan of how this machine operates. 3.5 stroke with a swash plate, but this does actually feel like a 3.5 opposed to the S1. The S1 kind of feels like a 4.0 stroke, call me crazy, but it doesn't feel the same as this. This is how it sounds at seven volts. It's kind of loud for a pen machine, in my opinion. Red means stop. It's a shame because it feels comfortable in the hand to hold, but it does not feel good to use in practice. The magnetic battery, such as the S1, doesn't feel as strong, but then again, this is housed on the outside and not the inside. This came out first and then the S1 came out later. This was easy to bag. It was actually almost identical on how you would bag the S1. The only difference is that I needed grip tape right here in order to kind of adjust it. I just really, honestly, if the adjusting was a little, little different, if they had designed this differently so that adjusting it was easier and it made more sense, this would be a completely different review. I can get over the battery because if you're a tattooer, you can kind of hear for it and see for it on the skin, but not really understanding um, where you are on this is pretty easy if you're new and it is light and thin unlike me This goes from anywhere to 5 and 11 volts um, I did find that the line work was fine The line work was good a lot like the s1 that the line work was something that I didn't really struggle with it didn't feel um, Inconsistent I found that the s1 was easier to shade with um, Maybe because I felt like it was a little stronger than 3.5 and that I could adjust the voltage a lot easier This I feel like the line work was fine, but it, it just adjusting for the needle dots to get to where I like it. It's a little goofy and then I start to lose confidence because it didn't feel like I was really understanding the machine that I was using. Shading with this I didn't like at all because I couldn't adjust by 0.1s, it was by 0.5 and it, I feel like when you're shading or gray washing, it's really important to get any little bit of increment changes or anything you can out of the machine. Since it came in, I have been saying it's just a TV remote because it does, it does kind of look like just like a TV remote and it even kind of feels like a TV remote. So for a TV remote, it's pretty good. Zero to four millimeter needle depth, which is pretty average, so that's good. You have a good amount of needle depth options if you can get there. If this is just a me thing where I got a faulty machine, that's one thing. But if other people have gotten this machine or are experiencing the same issues, that the grip comes undone when you're trying to adjust the needle depth, that the intuitive battery is something that's kind of hard to manage. I am giving this machine away as well because it's not good enough for me. If you're interested in a giveaway, leave a comment below. Go to my TikTok, Instagram, talk to me directly. And if you have any questions, please let me know. 
I wonder if there's a catchphrase I can make for an outro. Touch boobs, get tattooed, lasagna. <laughs>